Good day everyone. I'm meteorologist Adam Kolpak. We've got still some hot weather on the way in the seven day forecast, but the difference is temperatures are going to be coming down over the next seven days for both highs and also low temperatures for the inland areas. Even though we've got the heat off to our south and southeast, this trough is actually going to have two upper level lows. One that goes just to the north of us on Saturday and a deeper upper level low early next week that will cross to the north of us as well. What this means is temperatures won't be as hot coming up over the next several days. Now again, because of the heat, just want to go over this once again. I know this is common sense, but let's just review it one more time. All right, temperatures are expected to be in the 90s and possibly some 100s for this weekend. And lows will be in the 50s and 60s. However, some areas are going to start to cool down for morning lows. If not Saturday morning, better chances for Sunday and definitely into Monday morning. Please stay hydrated. Use sunscreen and take frequent breaks if you're going to be out and about, especially between the hours of 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. when we usually start to get more of the heat moving in into the afternoon and early evening hours. Never leave pets or children in a closed vehicle and check on the elderly as well. All right, for the coast, you've been escaping most of the heat, and it looks like you're going to escape most of it as well this weekend. Temperatures in the 60s and 70s for highs, lows generally in the 50s. For the coast, mostly clear this evening. However, there will be some areas of fog and low clouds moving in tonight into tomorrow morning. More sunshine breaking out during the day. The wind will still also be a factor out of the north and northeast, 10 to 30 miles per hour, with some higher gusts, especially up towards Bandon and North Bend. For the West Valleys, Lows will be generally in the 50s and 60s. Highs tomorrow, 90s, and yes, there will be some 100s. Clear conditions tonight, a slight chance for an evening shower or thunderstorm over Northern California, then sunny and very hot for Saturday. Slight chance for a late day shower or storm over Northern California once again. And east of the Cascades, our lows will generally be in the 40s and 50s. Highs tomorrow in the 80s and 90s. If you are heading up to Crater Lake, I have 55 and 75. A slight chance for an evening shower or thunderstorm, mainly though over Modoc County. And again, it's not a great chance, otherwise clear conditions for tomorrow. Sunny and hot, a slight chance for some afternoon and evening thunderstorms across the entire area, east, mainly along and east of the Cascades. All right, here's our seven-day forecast. You can see I'm going from 98 for the high in Rogue Valley Saturday. That's not a record high, although still hot. 107 is the record high set back in 2003. Then I'm going for 95 Sunday. You can see the general trend back down to low and mid-90s for highs. Plenty of sunshine. Also, it'll be cooler at night as well. That's a good thing. Klamath Basin, your lows will generally be in the 40s and 50s. And high temperatures. Well, I'm going for 93 on Saturday. A slight chance for a late day shower storm. Then you see the trend. We have highs generally in the 80s to around 90. For Mount Shasta City, a slight chance for a late day shower storm Saturday. Otherwise, plenty of sunshine coming up in the seven day. We go from 96 for the high on Saturday, then into the upper 80s to around 90. And lows will generally be in the 50s to around 60 for the coast. Lows will generally be in the 50s, highs in the 60s, maybe even some 70s. There will be some areas of fog and low clouds, especially at night during the morning hours. But there is a better chance of seeing the sunshine break out during the day.